Hey guys, I'm right back at you with another YouTube video. And this time I'll be featuring paint pouring. What you're looking at are all the materials needed for you to recreate your own paint pouring at home. As you can see, I've used purple because these are the themes of my home. In this video, I'll show you how to recreate your own designs themed for your own home. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is do a base coat of white. And I've already put that on there. The reason why you want to do a base coat of any color, I just chose white today, but it makes it easier for the paint to slide across the canvas and flows consistently like you want it. So I'm going to be using several colors today. Of course, I'm going to be using white. I'm going to be using purple. I'm going to be using orange, red, a dab of blue, and a little bit of yellow. Now, I wanted you guys to see the consistency and the thickness. Because if you don't get the consistency of the paint right, you'll end up with the canvas like this. This is uh, one of the first ones that I did uh, last night. And of course you can see it's dry, but the paint barely moved because I didn't add enough flow formula to the paint. So what you have to do is you can start off with your basic acrylic paint, but with the acrylic paint, it comes out really thick. And in order for your paint to flow as you're pouring it, you're gonna to need to loosen that thickness up. So to do that, you add a little bit of um, flow formula. And then there's also something called silicone that you're gonna to add, add to it, and that's gonna make it a little bit shiny. So as you can see, I want you to see the consistency. Look at the consistency of it, all of them. They kind of flow, right? They're not too thin, not too thick. And so as you can see, this one is a little bit thicker. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of flow medium to it. And that's gonna make it not be so thick and flow the way you want to. And and flow the way I want it to. So what you want to do is make sure you mix everything up. And what the white uh, flow medium will do is change the color just a tad bit, but it won't be that off from its um, original color that you saw in the bottle. So what I'm going to do is mix this up completely. And like I said, once you, you take your regular paint, you put this paint in there, you add your flow medium, and then the last step that I do is three squirts of the silicone. And it's a clear uh, jelly-like substance that you can squirt in there, and like I said, it makes it a little bit shinier. And it's clear, so it won't change the color up either. Okay, so as you can see, I'm mixing everything up. And another thing I've done, I've been watching a lot of videos, so I noticed that when I first did my canvases, they stuck to the cardboard um, box. So this time, I didn't want them to stick, so I've added like four cups, as you can see. That's what the canvas is sitting on. And this will help me be able to tilt it and keep everything from falling um, on the floor. Okay? So as you can see, I have everything mixed up and I have all of my colors. And so what I'm gonna do is add all of those colors to this empty cup. And the one of the most important tips that I've found um, that, to be great is to always start off with a white base coat. And when you're pouring, you're gonna tilt the cup a little bit to the side just so that the pour goes in and that the colors don't go into each other but they fall on top of one another. So let me show you what I mean. So as you're noticing, I'm tilting the cup and I'm gonna pour a lot of my white to start with the base. 
And then I'm going to go each color and then black, white. So I'm going to go a tad of purple, then black to white. And then, so I got my white. And then I'm going to go orange. And then back to white again. And I'm going to do this until the cup is completely filled up. Okay? And it depends on how much color you want to put in to get the design and flow that you want it to go. Oh, let's go with some blue. As you can see, I've added a layer of white. Each time I've added a color. And like I said, I'm doing that until the cup is completely full. Go back in with my white again. I'm almost at the top, guys. Just want to make sure you can see that. And I'm going to add some red. And I'm going to add some more white. And I'm going to add a little bit more purple in there. And as you can see, guys, I've done that and the cup is completely full. Yes. Now, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these toothpicks and I'm going to just do a cross inside of it. And what the cross does is kind of help break up the colors so they'll begin to formulate as you would like them to. And so I'm going to do, oh, and so you see I have just one small little thing there. So what I'm going to do is the famous cup pour. And what that is, is when you put the cup directly on the canvas. So I don't... And you flip it back over. And you let it rest. And while you're letting it rest, you're just going to wait a few minutes. If I can get a little bit closer, you can see where I put that X in the bottom. <laughs> and I did it on the top. So what that X is going to do is help break the colors up. And you're going to be patient. You're going to wait a few minutes and just wait and wait and wait. And we're going to wait until the colors kind of come together and they do what you um, want them to do. In the meantime, I'm going to begin moving some of these things out of the way because part of the paint pouring is a shifting of the canvas and that's how your design is formed or not formed. Okay, so I'm going to just begin moving some of these things out of the way. And we'll go from there. So like I said, the longer you wait, the more the colors will come together and do what you want them to do. So I'm just waiting. And I'll probably just wait maybe for about two minutes just for the life of the video so it won't be that long. And so the first thing you're going to do is let me make sure you guys can see what I'm going to be doing. So the first thing you're going to be doing is lifting the cup up. And you can lift the cup up any way you want to. And for me, I'm just going to... You see that? And you're going to just let the colors... Do whatever they want to do. And for me, I just take the colors, some of the extra paint, and I'm just going to go around the edges. And I've seen people do that. And that's because sometimes you just want to get some extra different colors on the edge. And so that's what I'm doing with the cup.
This is a technique I watched somebody else do, guys. So you can feel free to implement whatever you want to, however you're feeling that day. That's what's so great about art. And so again, guys, I'm just going to let this sit right there and just sit right there. And I'm probably going to let it sit for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to begin moving it. So after you've let it sit for a little while, you can begin tilting it the way you want to see the design go. Used a lot of colors. And so, like I said, you can twist it the way that you want it to go based on the way that you twist it. That's how the design is going to come in. All of the twists and turns really help bring the colors out. See that? really like that green and see I didn't even use green but when you mix those colors with white there's so many different things that can come about I'm really trying to get it to come down so you guys can see really see those colors begin to come in you can see the purple and the yellow and the red and the pink and I'm shaking it that kind of helps it get down a lot quicker you have to be really patient with this and to me it's a real stress reliever it really is. It's really showing a lot of colors and that's what I wanted you guys to see today. And of course, this is just a beginner's pour I think I want to show you guys something that I've heard them say is called the dirty pour. And that's where you just pour straight on the canvas without the cup. And then that way you can get a different design. As you can see, this one is taking its time, but it's coming. It's coming. And usually what I do is when it's taking this time to get down to what you want it to be, whatever colors you use, I usually take the excess and I just go around the edges of the painting. Like I said, it takes you back to being a kid again. I have 
have to wipe that off. But as you can see, it's coming right along. And you have like so many different colors. That's why I use so many so that you can see that they'll they'll all show themselves. You see the red is kind of a light red, a dark red, and then the pinkish. There's a little bit of yellow in there. There's some blue, like a little ocean in the middle. Um, there's some purple. Ooh. And like I said, it's really messy. So if you're afraid of being a mess, then this is not the thing for you because you're going to get messy with this. And like I said, you can always add more to it. I'm just doing this for the sake of the video. But usually I would let it run completely down and take its time. And like I said, it's still going to move while it's sitting. Okay. And that's what you have when it's done. And like I said, that's just one. I'm going to show you guys. I think I'm going to show you. Yep. I think I'm going to show you how to do a dirty pour. And then I'm going to use like a really small one. And then I think I'm going to just do... I'm going to do purple. I'm going to do three colors. Okay. Another thing that I do is I do the blow dryer on it. Um, I'm going to let you guys see that. And when you blow dry it, it just makes it open up a little bit more. And there you have it, guys. The finished product. Wanted to make sure you guys can get a good look at the work you've put in. And of course, it's not dry yet, but it's going to get there. I'm just going to Give it some time and let it do its thing. But like I said, I'm going to show you guys another one. And the next one is going to be called a dirty pour. Okay, guys. So here we go with the dirty pour. And I'm going to be using a small canvas for this. And like I said, the difference between this one is that if you guys can remember the last time when the cup was filled up with paint... I took this, I put it on top of this, and I went like this, and then I lifted it away. This time, I'm going to fill this cup with paint and just pour. Okay? So, like I said, we're always going to start with a base of white. And as you can see, look, look how it's not moving. So, what we want to do is add a little more of our flowing formula to the paint because you want it to flow freely. If it doesn't flow freely, it won't move on the canvas. And as you can see, I already have two things on the canvas. I'm gonna take a little bit of alcohol. Of course, this is another trick that I saw. I think she said get the paint off, but... And then she said take alcohol. I tried, but it seems like I made it worse. But... I think we'll do a good job. So... Like I said, we added some more. 
flowing formula to the paint and look at it now. It could flow a little bit better, I think. So I'm just going to add a dab more. And then you want to make sure that you stir it up very well because you want that flowing formula to flow all the way down to the bottom of the paint. Okay. So it's okay with this. So like I said, we're going to fill this cup, not to the brim, but almost like we did last time. And this time we're going to do white, purple, and yellow. Let's just do that. Because this is a small one. Like I said, this one is called the Dirty Pour. So this time... I'm not going to fill the cup up. Okay. There we go. And then the last coat is going to be the white. And like I said, as you guys can see when I'm pouring it, that it's on the side and that the colors aren't together. Like I said, what, what you want to do is once you put everything together and you have it all in one cup, you want to make an X that kind of like puts the colors together. And then for me, I'm just going to begin to pour. And I'm just pouring in a circle. And since it's so small, I'm just going to let it sit right there for a minute. Let's see what that does, guys. I'm trying to be patient, but sometimes I'm not patient with it. But it comes out by itself if you let the cells form. So now I'm going to begin twisting and turning. You guys to see what I'm doing. Twisting. turning. You see how it's freely flowing? And then I'm going to get more white in it, so I'll let that flow down a little bit more. See how the yellow came out in there? Then I'll probably go this way. Just so I can see if more yellow will come out. And then, like I said, guys, on the sides, for the most part, it covers. Look at the sides. It covers when you go around. If you can see that. So I'm just letting the last little bit drip down into this corner right here. I'm going to wipe that because I'm going to let it rest on that cups right here and like I said this is my first day guys so there's a lot to learn still but like I said this is one of the most relaxing things I'm trying to get it down into that corner it's coming see that little small white corner right there Trying to get it down in there so you guys can see. And so I'm not sure like what design it made, 
But look, I can just show you that if you shift it back the other way, it'll begin to move that way. And then I want to sit this down so you guys can see. Just a little bit closer. So guys, that one is called the Dirty Pour. And then this one was just the regular pouring paint. So guys, stick around. I have so many different adventures that I'm going to show you guys. Subscribe, like, or comment. Let me know what color you want to see.